Ashley. Do you want to put your stuff down? Sure. So we can stand here. <laughs> Perseverance. Dedication. Self-pride. Kindness. Confidence. Grace. Tonight I have spoken numerous <laughs> adjectives to describe this class. But you have something unique. You embody every single one of them. Ashley, it is <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> is that right there? Your outlook on life is so inspiring and beautiful because no matter what there is, you've got a joke to crack. But it's not one at someone's expense. It's one to make everyone laugh. And I love it. And I'm going to miss it. There's so many of us that are going to miss it. Everyone in the office, all of your teachers, you have touched our lives so deeply. I didn't expect it. When you first came back to us, I was like, I was excited. Somebody went away and came back. I had no idea what you were going to do. We love you. We cherish you. And you are truly a beautiful person. Beyond worthy of being called a Chaparral Star Academy graduate. You're you. And I think that's the best thing about you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Ashley. Because as our salutatorian this year, she has a few words to say. For those people in the back, it says hi. <laughs> in very colorful writing, I tried. <laughs> I love everybody, everyone for being here. We love you too. Yay, I'm so glad. <laughs> but for reals, okay. So, fellow graduates, faculty, friends, and family, I would like to welcome and thank you for taking this time to listen as I stand here tonight trying to find something meaningful as well as interesting to say. When I was informed that I was going to give a speech, I plan on just walking up here and winging it. But after considering the importance, I procrastinated and eventually stayed up late one night and wrote my speech. <laughs> Throughout my senior year, I've been so blessed to have people around to give me advice, and I'd like to take this opportunity to share some with you, as well as a bittersweet trip down memory lane with all of you, and especially these amazing graduates celebrating with me. Never regret anything, because at one time, it was exactly what you wanted. Enjoy life and have fun. Stressing isn't going to solve the problem. This is, whoa. <laughs> this is the time to make mistakes and do silly things. Change your mind over and over, and you're never. And remember, you can't go skydiving when you're 80. I still don't think you can. That would be dangerous. <laughs> but you'll never be too old for making mustaches out of your ponytail or playing with the giant bouncy balls in Walmart. I like them. <laughs> Friends are a gift, and without them, life would be boring, so work to make those friendships last. Do what makes you happy, and never give up on something you believe in. Only you know what can put a smile on your face. Some of the most touching advice I've heard in a long time came from one of my favorite movies, which, if you know me, you shouldn't be shocked at all. <laughs> in Life As We Know It, Messer tells Holly that having someone help you doesn't mean that you failed. It just means that you're not in it alone. And this is true for all of us. When we first began school, long before most of us can even remember, we had no way of knowing in what condition we would be in, standing here on this day. From that time until now, we have made unexpected friendships and grown away from friendships we thought would last a lifetime. Have faced obstacles that threatened to crush us, laughed until we cried, became professional strategic procrastinators, overslept, underslept, and then stayed awake all night to do it again. 
By being here today, it is clear that our hard work and stressful moments have paid off. We did it. On the way, we were touched by amazing friends, inspirational teachers, and people who were just downright awesome. <laughs> we got into some trouble, met some random people, and despite the dangers and parties of our teenage years, we made it to this day, miraculously in one piece. As time has passed, we've been shaped into people we are today, our own unique personalities, and hold on to that. We are now moving into our lives to bigger and better things. I'm not sure about y'all, but growing up isn't the experience I dreamed it would be when I was little, playing with my sister in giant shoes and purses that were like the size of our bodies. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> this is all new, and I'm sure we all feel like we're trying to run a marathon in a fun house continually running into walls and tripping as we learn everything for the first time. I know now that life is a learning process, and as we turn this corner in our lives and take the next big steps into our future, we must commit to never forgetting the ones we love and the ones we have crossed paths with. Remember the people who have left footprints on your hearts and learn from their mistakes, because even if we live for a hundred years, we'll never make all those mistakes ourselves. <sighs> So pay attention to the people around you and never judge anyone before you've walked a mile in their shoes. In ending, I would like to point out how proud I am to be standing here today and good luck to everyone and congratulations. Accepted to Texas Tech University, accepted to the University of Texas at Austin, accepted to Mary Harden Baylor in receiving the Valedictorian Salutatorian Scholarship, accepted to Baylor University receiving the Provost Gold Scholarship as well as a Tuition Equalization Grant, but deciding to attend Texas A&M University to pursue a career in veterinary medicine and biomedical science and receiving the Regent Scholarship, I give you the 2012 Chaparral Star Academy Salutatorian Ashley Torres! <laughs>